Jati. Here's a quick backstory. Jatavia Shakara Johnson is a member of a rap duo called The City Girls. But recently, it looks like she's rebranding for a solo career. But that's not even the interesting part. The interesting part is how she's going about it. And even though some argue that it was Nicki Minaj who handed her the pink print of how to build a cult-like following, I cannot confirm that. But what I can confirm is that I have been paying close attention to how she's been building up and here are two things I found. These two moves help me confirm that it is not impossible to build a cult-like following. Here they are. Have you ever seen someone who was considered immoral or something else by society? But because they give back to their community, people love them. There's nothing you can tell a certain group of people to stop loving them. That's community outreach. The act of engaging with the public through various initiatives like charity events, educational programs, or local activities. People that want to build a cult-like following do this so that they are visible in the positive light outside of their usual context. Because if you are a teenager that was gifted a prom dress, you will always remember and cherish that moment. If you're someone that was given a house that you're currently living in by someone else, you will always remember that person. And no, it does not have to be big things. Think of some of the things you've seen on social media, like the free food boxes by food bloggers, the charity football matches. They work. They actually do. Community outreach works because the positive exposure enhances the way people see someone. And then they go tell someone else. They go tell their family and their friends who, as a result of seeing someone they love happy, they also start seeing the person who's giving them that happiness in a positive light too. And then they start spreading the news. So there's visibility, there's positivity, but there's also lifelong loyalty and commitment. So they start spreading the news. So there's positivity, there's lifelong fans, and there's also possible virality. But here's another thing that also works really, really well. When JT announced that she was going on a club tour, the feelings were mixed. Some made fun of her because they said that she couldn't sell big arenas, whilst others applauded her for rebranding from the ground up. What the first set of people don't know is the power of intimate echoes. Why do you think after all of these years, there are diehard Britney Spears fans, there are diehard Destiny's Child fans, not Beyonce, Kelly individual, but Destiny's Child? It's because before the world knew them, these people like Britney or Destiny's Child were grinding it out in small venues like the mall. They were singing in the malls of different cities. There's something about the raw energy of seeing the beginning of someone that imprints on you. That's the power of small, intimate gatherings. They resonate within people, becoming part of their story. Because years from now, best believe the people who are visiting JT now in her club tours and everything, when she starts filling stadiums, they will be the same people who will say, I was there. I was there when this was happening. That's the same reason why most of us like to say things like, I'm an OG Bob. I was there. I was there before everybody knew who Nikki was and all of that. Or these new fans don't know what they're talking about. That's the power of intimate echoes. It helps build a bond so strong that you will follow that person to the very end. That's why sometimes you watch a TV show. You started watching it. It starts getting uninteresting. You're like, oh, it's not the same anymore. But you just say it through the end because you've started watching it. That's how you build a cult-like following because you build this strong connection with people. It's so, so, so powerful. And of course, there are other steps involved when it comes to building a cult-like following, like strategic collaborations, merch, community Q&As. But from what I've observed, if you want to build a cult-like following in this age that we're in, you need to seriously consider community outreach and intimate echoes.